let's get tailgate crazy. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I go straight for the grill and straight for the brats and straight for the beer. So, uh, you know, with that combination, uh, I also started to lean towards Germany. Uh, so I just started to do a fun little, let's do a beer poached, then grilled brat, throwing some apples, throwing Come some others. I know, I know. Come I know. on. Uh, let's just get into the action. Grill is set at a stunning 500, it's stunning, right? 500 yeah. degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Woo, baby, and that is smoking point. We're using the Kamada Joe Classic 3 today, which has metal shelves, so I'm not afraid to pull this pan off. We're gonna put some butter there in a minute, but if I put butter in there right now, it would burn up. So while that's cooling down, I'm gonna shut my dome. Instead of 500, let's do a stunning 450, okay? <laughs> Uh, so stabilize your grill, 450 degrees. Let's start with some apple. If the skin offends you, go ahead and peel it. This is my favorite way to kind of cut up an apple. And you gotta think, whatever, we, however we slice this, it's gonna go in a bun, right? So if you wanna do small dice, medium dice, whatever you like, here's, here's an option. One cut, two cut, and this is a good, that's a good dice there. Nice size. And I'll leave the skins on there because they don't offend me. They look nice. Yeah, they're nice. And think about the size pan we have. Oh, almost messed it up. So we'll cut once, cut twice. You want uniform size so that everything cooks evenly. It's not how it looks. It's a make sure that something isn't overcooked versus undercooked. That's good. We'll do one more and the rest will be snack for us. It's a good thing about any recipe that's got apples in it, right? Got some snacks. Turn. All right, now let's put in a little butter. I don't know, I always have a little butter oh, on goodness. hand. Uh, and go ahead and plop that right into our warm cast iron skillet. And that looks like it's cooled down nicely, so let's sneak it back onto the grill. Uh, notice the grill setup today. I've got a cast iron griddle and a grill grate. This could easily be two griddles or two grill grates. I love the kind of French cooktop feel of putting a pan on a flat hot surface. Uh, you can know, do that a lot in France, or you can go open flame if you want. We're gonna want the open flame in the end for grilling the sausage. Now to cool things down and start the cooking process, so let's grab our nicely diced apples. And we're winning already. That one here oh, that- smells amazing. Yeah, I mean, that takes me back, you know. And tis the season, right? Apples, apples are in, butter is in. Swirl it around a little bit. And while that's getting nice color, let's go ahead and chop an onion. We've got a yellow onion over here. We'll go straight down the middle. You're just basically doing the exact same size as the apple? I might go a little smaller. You know, and I think I think just half an onion. No, we've got to decide. Do we want to do dices? We've already got dices. Maybe we do slices on Ooh. this. Yeah, let's let's switch it up a little bit. We're gonna give those apples a little bit of time to cook, and then we'll throw these in. Then we'll sneak in some garlic. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be lovely. And right now we're just getting what's called our mise en place together, right? So get all our ducks in a row so that we're not running around wanting for something and not having it. We'll just line everything up in true fashion. And you want to rough chop this. This is going to end up being a poach after it's cooked off a little bit. So rough chop is fine. Apples are going in the butter. And we're wanting them to get soft, but we want a little bit of color. We want to graduate uh, or slightly elevate these flavor profiles. The butter will brown. The apple will begin to caramelize beautiful things and we'll gently turn. Oh yeah, smell that. And try not to overcrowd them. You see me piling everything up at the back? That's exactly what you don't want to do yet. Let's give ourselves a little grace. Spread out nice and evenly. You know what, in the spirit of game day, I'm gonna pull an audible. Uh oh, here oh. we go, here so, we go. I'm loving this. I, I just hate the thought of, of braising these in the beer and having them break down and losing the structure. We've got some apple butter flavor. Let's take these out. And, Smells amazing. Yeah, the, I mean, they're proper. We're gonna take these out and use them as a garnish in the end so they keep their integrity. All right, so right into a bowl. Back onto the heat. In with the onions. 
Still got that sizzle. It was our time. Yeah, been to win. I think another knob of butter is in. What's not to like? Uh, aroma of butter and onions together. Butter and apples, butter, butter and onions. I mean, it's just, it's very fall, you know? Fall, fall to winter. Oh yeah, just, just drink up that butter a little bit. Let's close this dome to impart some natural lump charcoal flavor. Those onions are really soak it up. Butter and onions are looking fantastic. Let's get the garlic in there and just begin to activate it. Nestle in those lovely bratwurst in oh, that. It smells unbelievable, Eric. <laughs> yeah, it's silly. Uh, one other thing we need is nice German beer. So we're going in with a Bex, okay? And it doesn't have to be Bex. You could do just a, a light Pilsner would be nice. Um, so we're just gonna... Did you do that with your tongue? Yeah, a little, little chef trick. Wow. A little chef trick. And notice how that deglazed a little bit, picked up some of those apple flavors, picked up some of that brown butter flavor. Uh, when we're shallow poaching, you don't need the liquid to come all the way over. That is enough. And I'm gonna pour, it seems to be a little hotter over here right now. So uh, let's go ahead and close the dome and we're gonna swivel open our control tower and we want to reduce that liquid. The onions are doing their thing, the garlic's doing its thing, the butter already did its thing, uh, and those sausages we're gonna flip in about five minutes as everything's reducing, becoming more and more delicious and powerful. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, these guys are starting to get a little more firm, but certainly not cooked or overcooked. Uh, so another five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and graduate it over here. And those onions are just drinking up that beer. They're drinking up that. Should we put another knob of butter in there? Maybe not. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, uh, let's let that reduction continue to happen. Another five minutes, and then we're gonna see where we're at. I'm getting pretty excited about this. Two minutes left uh, until we take the uh, bratwurst out of the poaching liquid. Uh, I found these potato rolls and cut from the top. I love that well, lobster. Yeah, lobster. Yeah, I, lo I love the lobster roll. Of course, I looked for uh, pretzel buns, but not to be had today. So we're just going to slightly butter these. When I say slightly, I mean really butter <laughs> these babies. And you don't like have when to. When the way chefs say garlic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A chef's, a chef's tablespoon, right? All right, we are buttered up. Let's take a look at our, oh yeah, oh, wow. oh yeah. Instantaneous aroma. Let me move this over so you can really take a good look at it. Wow. And look how those onions just did their thing. Um, so let's go ahead and toast these guys off. I'm just gonna open them up slightly, put them on that hot, hot, hot cast iron. It's not gonna take long, three, two, one and you're done and that's what we want just a little butter butter sizzle set you right there i do them one at a time you know it up. it's gonna happen quick you know that cast iron is hot beautiful last but not least you see the butter sizzle the sizzle dance show me oh yeah perfecto all right so you know what I want to do, there's still a little too much liquid in there, so we'll move this back. Let's go ahead and throw these babies right on the grill. So they're 90% done right now. We're going to finish them up. If we were to throw these babies on this hot, hot grill, the casing would bust. So we're still going to get that nice flame kiss flavor and texture, uh, but just finishing them on the grill is what we want to do. I'm going to start drawing these onions into a pile on this side. Notice the liquid is kind of migrating downhill here. And I've got access to these gorgeous onions. Let's go ahead and give these guys a flip. That's all I want. Oh yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Full contact sport over here. Oh, these are awesome. Let's go ahead and build these babies right in the bun. Oh, might need a bigger boat. Might need a bigger boat. We'll get the other two. This just screams game day to me. I mean, what could be better than that? Oh wait, we're gonna top it with butter, cooked apples, beer, onions. Let's 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 finish <laughs> with the onions. 
Uh, let's go. Oh yeah. Got this whole grain mustard. It's just like a nature's caviar yeah. here. Yeah. It provides a little snap, crackle, pop, a little bit of acid. And with that broth fat content, you don't know it, but you're looking for it. So we'll smush them right into those onions. There we go. Let's get the apples on there. Dude, just knocking some of these babies on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look in this pan, how we've created a gloss, a glaze out of, out of the onions, out of the butter. I mean, that butter reduction sauce, it's gonna, that's, that is all the power of everything that was in that pan. That is liquid gold, and that has to go right over top. Look at this. I don't even know which one to choose. How could you? That's a stunner. Wow. That's a stunner. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here, here we go. Oh Only God. one way to do that. Oh my God. Holy cow. Mm. Everything sings about this. That that glaze, oh, look, I'm dropping apples. I'm, I just don't even know what to do. What do I do with my hands? I don't I don't know what to do with myself. The, the flavors of that wooden nickel bratwurst, oh, just stunner. The apples come through with the sweetness. The butter is just everything. Caramelized onions. And then, and then there's that snap, crackle, pop of the, uh, wow. of, the, of, the of the mustard. Yeah. And the bun, the bun was okay, right? We could have had a pretzel bun or something. You could even get rid of the bun, slice this on a, on, on a, a slice a baguette on a bias, and do these as crustinis for game day if you like. Uh, but this sings my song all day long, uh, folks. Let's just go ahead and wrap it up because I need to eat this off camera right now. Uh, do me a favor, subscribe, hit the notification button, do throw us a like, and leave a comment. Love responding back to those. Uh, and as always, from our backyard to yours, cheers and happy growing.